When it comes to diesel engines, there are names, and then there are legends. Perkins, Cummins, Gardner. These aren't just manufacturers, they're dynasties in the engine world. And today, we're putting them head to head to answer a question that sparks more debate than pineapple on pizza. Which one is best? Let's rev this up. Before we dive into pistons and power curves, let's meet the legends vying for diesel domination. Perkins, the understated workhorse from the UK. While not as flashy as some of its peers, Perkins built its name on reliability, versatility, and honest engineering. From tractors to generators, construction equipment to marine craft, Perkins engines are the quiet backbone of many industries. They're not built to impress, they're built to work. Dependable durable, and widely respected for getting the job done without the drama. Cummins, the American powerhouse with a British footprint. Though American-owned, Cummins engines have a long-standing presence in the UK, with many built right here on British soil. Known for their rugged durability and no-nonsense performance, Cummins engines have powered everything from colossal mining lorries to everyday haulage workhorses. British manufacturers like ERF, Seddon Atkinson and Leyland famously turned to Cummins for reliable grunt, especially with classics like the NH220 and the later 14-litre Big Cam series. If it hauls heavy and works hard, chances are there's a Cummins doing the dirty work. And finally, Gardner, the quiet legend from the homeland. Though they're no longer in production, Gardner engines are revered for their simplicity and bulletproof reliability. Once the heart of commercial lorries and canal boats, these engines were built with such care that many are still in service today, decades after they've left the factory. They may not win any drag races, but they'll outlast just about anything else on the road. So we've got Perkins, the workhorse, Cummins, the blue-collar bodybuilder, and Gardner, the wise old wizard. Let's see how they stack up. Enjoying the breakdown so far? Hit subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter, and drop a comment with your early pick. Perkins, Cummins, or Gardner. Let's talk brute force, horsepower, torque, and raw mechanical might. If you're all about numbers that make engineers grin and ships move, then sit tight. It's about to get intense. Perkins engines are built to headline dyno charts, but that doesn't mean they lack muscle. Take their 2800 series, a marine diesel with up to 800 horsepower, purpose-built for steady power delivery in commercial and industrial environments. Perkins focuses on delivering reliable output over time, with engines that can chug along under load for thousands of hours. It's power with endurance, not flash. Cummins isn't far behind in the heavy hitter category. Their QSK95 engine can deliver more than 5,000 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful high-speed diesel engines in the world. Even in the commercial space, their X15 series, a favorite among long-haul truckers, can crank out up to 600 horsepower with torque figures that make trailers feel like toys. Cummins strikes that sweet spot between beastly performance and everyday practicality. And then there's Gardner. Now, they weren't chasing speed records, but that doesn't mean they lacked finesse. Take the legendary Gardner 6LX. It peaks around 150 horsepower, but it's about how that power is delivered. Smooth, steady, efficient, and reliable to a fault. It's not the guy flexing at the gym, it's the one quietly lifting twice your weight. Verdict? For sheer horsepower, Cummins dominates. Perkins delivers endurance-driven performance. Gardner? Well, it wins hearts, not races. This is where things get spicy, because horsepower is sexy, but reliability keeps your wallet and your weekend intact. Let's start with Cummins. These engines are legendary for their toughness, especially in commercial fleets where uptime means everything. Built to eat up miles like penny sweets, a well-maintained Cummins can easily run for hundreds of thousands of miles, sometimes even over a million. Farmers trust them in tractors, truckers in their rigs, and preppers in their bunk-out vehicles. They're tough, rebuildable, and globally supported. But when it comes to sheer longevity, Gardner takes it to another level. These engines were born in an era when over-engineering was a badge of honor. Many Gardner engines, especially the iconic 6LX, are still running smoothly 60 or more years after they were built, often with just basic care. No electronics, no flashy sensors, just solid metal, perfect machining, and legendary British craftsmanship. For some, it's not just an engine, it's a family member. Now, Perkins engines have earned their stripes with steady, long-lasting service in demanding roles across agriculture, marine, and construction. They may not break records, but their reputation for rugged simplicity and ease of maintenance makes them a trusted name in reliability circles, especially in parts of the world where uptime is critical and resources are limited. Verdict? Gardner wins for being virtually indestructible. Cummins is a close second, strong, reliable, and realistic. Perkins? Underrated, but incredibly dependable. Fuel efficiency isn't just for tree huggers. It's essential, especially when fuel prices seem to spike faster than a turbocharger at full boost. 
Whether you're running a business or cruising the canals, how much your engine gulps down matters. Gardner once again stepped into the spotlight. Built during a time when fuel economy was critical for commercial viability, these engines were engineered to be as frugal as they were reliable. It's not uncommon for a well-maintained Gardner to consume half the fuel of newer, more powerful engines doing the same job. They're not built for speed, but they'll stretch a tank of diesel further than just about anything else. Cummins land somewhere in the middle. Their modern engine lines, especially those used in long-haul lorries and equipment, make use of cutting-edge fuel injection systems, turbochargers, and electronic engine management to balance power with efficiency. They may not win awards for being fuel misers, but they offer excellent performance per gallon, especially under consistent loads. Perkins has long prioritized efficiency, particularly in agricultural and generator applications where fuel economy impacts profitability. Their engines are designed to optimize combustion and reduce emissions without sacrificing reliability. While not as stingy as Gardner, Perkins motors often sip rather than guzzle, earning their place among the thrifty elite. Verdict? Gardner, hands down, wins the thrift crown. Perkins is close behind with smart economy. Cummins is the sensible middle ground. Loving the engine talk? Subscribe for more deep dives like this and comment below. Which one's winning so far in your book? Let's be honest, no engine is truly set and forgot, so when it's time to get your hands greasy, how easy is it to maintain these beasts? Cummins is the clear frontrunner. With a global footprint that spans from highways to harbors, they've built an ecosystem that keeps things running no matter where you are. Whether you're in the middle of Kent or somewhere remote in Southeast Asia, chances are there's a Cummins dealer, mechanic, or at least someone with the right wrench and a part in stock. They've built their brand on practicality and serviceability, and it shows. Mechanics trust them, truckers swear by them, and parts are practically everywhere. Gardner, despite being out of production, still commands a loyal following. There's a whole network of specialists, rebuilders, and online communities dedicated to keeping these old workhorses alive. Need a part? It might take a bit of searching or a friendly nudge to a UK supplier, but you'll likely find it. The engines themselves are simple and beautifully overbuilt, which means that most issues can be solved with patience, knowledge, and the right spanner. It's old school, but in the best way. Perkins shines in accessibility and maintainability. Known for their modular construction and ease of repair, Perkins engines are widely supported around the world. Parts are affordable, diagrams are plentiful, and if you've got basic tools and know-how, chances are you can fix one yourself. Verdict? Cummins wins for ease, parts, and practicality. Gardner runs respect for community and simplicity. Perkins holds its ground with global access and DIY friendliness. Not all engines are built for the same battlefield. Some were made for warships, some for 18-wheelers, and others for the calm canals of England. Let's see where these titans truly belong. Perkins diesel engines are the unsung heroes of hard work. From tractors and telehandlers to generators and commercial vessels, their engines power everything from farms to fishing fleets. Designed for reliable performance in long-running, load-heavy environments, Perkins excels in steady, real-world applications. You won't find them on the racetrack, but you will find them where uptime and simplicity matter most. Cummins, by contrast, is the jack of all trades. Their engines can be found in everything from lorries, tractors, buses, and RVs, to boats, construction equipment, and backup generators. That versatility is why Cummins engines are beloved across industries. Whether you're pulling freight through a snowstorm or plowing a field in August, there's a Cummins ready for the job. It's the Swiss Army knife of diesel. Gardner was never about raw power or modern applications. It was about longevity and dependability. From the 1950s to the 70s, Gardner engines powered commercial lorries, buses, and narrowboats. Today, they're the beating hearts of restored classics and heritage marine craft. For enthusiasts and purists, they're more than just machines, they're history in motion. Verdict? Perkins for practical, everyday reliability. Cummins for all-terrain, all-purpose performance. Gardner for soulful, enduring engineering. Let's be honest, sometimes the way an engine sounds matters just as much as how it performs. Sure, torque curves and fuel maps are great, but there's something deeply personal about the roar, rumble, or hum that comes from under the hood. Let's start with the Gardner 6LX. It doesn't bark, snarl, or scream. It purrs. Imagine an old gentleman in a leather armchair, clearing his throat after a fine brandy. Deep, composed, and dignified. There's a warmth to its tone, a rhythm that's almost hypnotic. It's slow revving and proud of it. If you love engines with personality, Gardner Sound is pure diesel poetry.
Cummins, especially the older 12-valve 5.9 litre, is a different beast entirely. It's the engine equivalent to the muscle car doing push-ups, full of raw clatter, turbo whistle, and mechanical honesty. You don't just hear a Cummins, you feel it. That distinctive rattler idler whoosh under load has become the soundtrack of British motorways. Whether it's hauling freight or tearing up a dyno, it's unapologetically bold. Birkin's engines aren't loudmouths. They hum, whisper, and occasionally grumble, but in a good way. Their tone is all about restraint and balance. It's the sound of getting things done quietly, reliably, and without drawing attention. A Perkins doesn't roar, it reassures. Verdict? Totally subjective. Gardner for the old school charm, Cummins for diesel aggression, Perkins for calm confidence. Let's break it down. If you want real world dependability across countless industries, Perkins is your trusted workhorse. Quiet, capable, and everywhere. Need reliability, global support, and real world performance? Cummins is your go-to. It's the practical powerhouse that keeps the world moving, from highways to harvest fields. Prefer simplicity, soul, and an engine built to outlive you? Gardner wins with timeless craftsmanship and legendary durability. So who wins? Well, you do. Yeah, cheesy. Sorry, couldn't resist. My answer is all of them, because each of these engines dominates its own kingdom. And the best one? It's the one that fits your world. Thanks for tuning in. If this battle of the diesel engines got your gears turning, Give us a like, hit subscribe, and let us know in the comments. Are you Team Perkins, Team Cummins, or flying the Gardner flag?